hangovers. So many people have so much fun on so many of their weekends, but hangovers. The headaches, the vomiting, in some cases the inability to even see straight, your vision is so blurred and awful and light hurts and everything hurts. Hangovers. Why? What is this? Why am I going through this? You're saying to yourself every single time as you don't understand why you continually make the choices that put you in this situation. Ugh. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Waste Time, we're going to ask the question, what is happening in your body during a hangover? So pretty much everybody who's tried out alcohol, you know, at a party, because your friends thought it was cool, or maybe you did it at a bar, or whatever, as an adult, you've probably experienced a hangover. If you're not an adult, let this be a warning. They suck. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your life, but I am going to tell you that a consequence of enjoying the booze a little bit too hard is, uh, terrible. It's awful. I don't really know any other way to say it. It's the worst. And the weird thing about it is we don't even entirely understand what's going on. We have a few theories as a society, as a scientific community, as a whatever you want to define as we. Now that isn't to say there's a ton of hard research that has been done or is being done. It's not exactly the most popular topic of all time, but people have some decent ideas. Probably the most popular, you'll hear it if you talk to anybody about it long enough, is that alcohol dehydrates your body. So what happens when you drink alcohol, the alcohol itself, or rather an ethanol that humans can digest and does the thing that we call getting drunk, causes your body to make less of an antidiuretic hormone called vasopressin. That hormone is responsible for telling your kidneys to conserve and recycle body water. Essentially, it's the signal to hold on to that water. Now, one might think, oh, it's just a lack of water that we're talking about here, but that's not the case. Urine contains sodium and potassium, as well as a great deal of other substances known as electrolytes. Just on the virtue that you're going to pee more, you expel more of these substances that your body creates. In a lot of cases, simply disturbing the levels that your body is storing these at can cause nausea, headaches, and other body aches. And believe me, you're gonna feel all that stuff if you got a bad hangover. And in some cases, this is the specific range of symptoms that many people feel when they have a hangover. Now here's the problem. While this definitely contributes to a hangover, it really isn't the specific cause of it. Some people have much worse symptoms, as a matter of fact. And that's because alcohol has other effects on our systems besides simply dehydration. In many cases, alcohol can even cause a severe drop in blood sugar, which if you're a diabetic, you can drink an alcohol. First off, why are you doing that? Second off, yeah. It's like number one bad thing you don't want to happen. Beyond that, in a lot of people, alcohol can cause sleep irregularities. And for a lot of people, simply not sleeping the proper amount of time can cause a lot of the symptoms that people commonly associate with a hangover. I know if I have one bad night of sleep, I can end up feeling as though I'm actually legitimately sick. But aside from the actual alcohol's effect on a person, there are other reasons why you may be getting a hangover. For instance, alcohol isn't necessarily the most pure substance known to man. At least the stuff that's getting distributed. I'm sure somewhere there's some really pure stuff that people are going to the moon with in some way. I don't know. For instance, as far as getting drunk, often wine doesn't do as much as vodka. But vodka is significantly more pure than wine. Wine carries a lot more quote-unquote other substances because it's made in grapes and it often isn't really hugely refined on account that would basically destroy the thing that makes it wine. But but there's artificial flavorings sometimes added, and natural flavorings for that matter, can have similar effects depending on what they are. You could be allergic to something, I don't know. But there's preservatives, and sometimes even methanol in trace amounts. In concentrated amounts, methanol is a substance that could kill you. Methanol is an entirely different substance from ethanol, the alcohol that, you know, makes you drunk, once again. And to get further into that would cause us to have to get into more complicated areas, and I'd like to keep it simple so let's just say it's a byproduct or sometimes an accident. 
But these various things, kept in the alcohol that you consume, can cause your body to do various things. You know, chemicals and all that. That's how they work. And it's not a matter of these chemicals being artificial or synthetic or additives or anything like that. It's just that some of these things aren't consumable by humans, and that's that. Some of it's perfectly natural. Some of it isn't. Natural doesn't mean good, and synthetic doesn't mean bad. Some brands tend to distill their vodka further than other brands. For instance, maybe doing a second distilling, or a third, or fourth, or however many they deem necessary to remove as many impurities as they can, bearing in mind that it's near impossible to remove all of them in anything but a lab setting, and mass production pretty much makes it impossible because there's no such thing as a mass production environment that is as sterile as a lab environment. That being said, pretty much everything you're drinking is safe as a toxic chemical for your body can be, and if drinking responsibly, obviously, you're not going to deal with the worst of these things. But it's not even just responsible drinking, as I said. Some people do think that more expensive vodkas and wines and all of that automatically are better in this respect, but that's not necessarily the case. There are cheaper drinks that are distilled further than more expensive ones. Various sugars and sulfates that get added to whatever drink you're drinking that gives you the worst hangover may be the cause of why your body is reacting so weird. Or it could also be your age. If you've been on the earth a little bit longer than other people, your body may be handling certain things a little bit different. The chemicals that your body uses to break down alcohol, otherwise known as metabolizing the alcohol, are produced more so in younger people than in older people. In other words, the older you get, the less chance you have of having all the stuff necessary to handle alcohol. And if you're one of the lucky few that produces all this stuff in abundance, congratulations, Ozzy Osbourne. Why are you watching this video? Don't you have other things to do? I know you're an older person, but hey, your body can clearly handle the other things that you have to do. Ah, that's a joke. There's a good chance Ozzy can't use a computer. But quick question, what was your worst hangover experience, and how did you cure it? Because we ain't even talked about that at all. Did you cure it, or did you just, you know, have the worst day ever? Let's meet in the comments and have a conversation. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do just that. We upload brand new videos all the time. And the best way to see them first is having a subscription to our channel. Thanks a whole lot for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we'll see you next time right here on Waste Time.